I'm Deanna Lights. I'm at Sacred Wave Gong Immersions in Clawson, ready to get my gong on. So this is a form of sound therapy. It is a sacred practice. Um, it's spiritual. Uh, it helps people to meditate, relax, get in touch with their connection to source. It's a very spiritual practice and it really gives people an ability to relax, let go, have their cells and their body massaged by the sound, um, meditate. Um, and I don't cloak it normally in a particular religious um, background so that people of any belief system are welcome to be here. So gongs can range anywhere from a few inches, like four or six inches, up to 80 inches. I'm sure that people have made larger ones. Um, there's a larger one. There's, there's some over 10 and 12 feet wide. The ones that are less than 28 inches tend to affect people more mentally. And the ones that are larger can be felt more physically in the body. You can feel the sound even down in your bones all of your organs, different, different tissues, you can feel them being massaged by the sound. So when you do a session, is it, is it the same each time? Or do you talk to the individual and see that I say, I feel stressed and you use different gongs to elicit different things? Or is it a similar routine with each session? So sessions, I do private sessions. And in private sessions, if you came to me and told me about a particular problem, I would then check in internally to see which gongs would be right for you. Um, I would ask you questions like when were you born, things like that, that would give me some indications about different spiritual things that could be helpful for you and whatever's going on with you. Um, and if you come to a session, the sessions are all um, a meditative process. Some people would call it channeled. Um, I do my very best to play for the group. The energy is different every single time. Um, people get what they need. Um, sometimes that's not what I would like them to have. Um, but people are usually get a level of stress reduction. Um, they have an experience that's unlike anything that they've experienced before. Um, they usually leave with a smile on their face or a sense of awe. You mentioned it might even help someone who's grieving. Oh, yes, because, you know, when we're grieving, we have a sense of, of loss. And um, sometimes they help people get in touch with lost loved ones. So they can be useful in that particular way. Um, there's a lot of people who come here when they've lost somebody. So it touch, it's touching. So, How do you become a gong what did you call yourself? A gongolier. A gongolier, player. yeah. Um, well, I trained with a couple of different people and um, found that this was really calling me. So I trained with um, Sotantar Suraj and Michael Bettine. And um, I have a long background in frequency therapy um, from Jerry Issa a long time ago studying Dinshaw spectrochrome. And so this is a mixture of a lot of different things that come to this they all come to this particular place. And so I'm mixing a lot of different backgrounds together um, to this particular place. And so um, it's been a long road. I've been, an, been a massage therapist for 27 years. So that was part of what brought me into this is my interest in natural health, um, working with people individually because everybody's different. And so um, did I answer your question? Yeah. Okay. And so do I need to come to get the most out of it on a weekly basis, on a monthly basis, or just when I feel the need? Um, a lot of people come once a week. Some people come intermittently as they feel like it. Um, for therapeutic benefit, I think that things are best done once a week. But when people are seriously stressed, if they have a job that's really difficult for them, if they're having a rough patch in their life, they will sometimes come two and three times in a week for a little while until they are through it. And um, they tell me that it really is helpful for them. What's an average length of time for a group session? So the group sessions are scheduled for 90 minutes. I do an introduction, let people get settled in. Um, the gong sing for an hour and at the end of that there's a period of silence and then um, I gently bring people back to the room and give them chocolate so that they can drive home.
Sounds perfect. <laughs> okay, is there anything else that you want to add about how much does it cost for a session? Oh, sessions during the week when people, so um, Tuesdays and Thursdays when people sign up in advance, um, a couple days or more, they can get a session for $20 if they wait till the last minute, $30. Um, weekends are um, $35 to $50 for a regular session. And if we have long sessions, the long sessions, sometimes we do sessions that are really long. We do eight hour sessions mm -hmm. and those can be 150 to $200. So there's some variation in those. Those are, those are for people who really want to do some deep processing and things like that. Right. Anything else you want to add that's important that I didn't ask? Not that I can think of. What do you get out of it when you see people come in and leave? Oh, um, satisfaction that I'm doing the right thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing the right thing. So, yeah. Thank you. Sure. What are the misconceptions that you hear about this kind of do people come in here for the wrong reasons or expecting something that you don't know? Oh. Is there a drug element to it at all or anything like that? Oh, the, there's the binaural beats aspect of it, so that's a good question. So the, the gongs all sing with a symphony of binaural beats, which affect a different brainwave state. Um, they you know make your brain in multiple states of consciousness simultaneously. So people will come in here... Um, you know, I tr do my best not to raise people's expectations um, and then leave them with more than they came with. So I'm trying to think if anybody's come here. Um, I think that most people come here expecting less. I think that they just think they're going to come and meditate and it's going to be novel. And then they are sort of surprised about what they get. So I think that's mostly what happens is sometimes people are blown away. Um, sometimes people come just for relaxation and they have something come up for them, something difficult. And I don't like that to happen for people, but sometimes we've buried our emotions alive. And so they need to come up for us in a way um, that's safe. And so, you know, I tell people that, you know, if you cry during a session, that it's okay because sometimes the facilitator is crying and doesn't know why. Do kids come? Children can come. I just ask parents to be respectful and bring their children only if they can remain quiet during the session. Um, but they have managed to be, by and large, very respectful of the process. Okay, we'll have you say your name. All right, Stephanie Raymond. Well, I just got done with a long day of work and I work in a pretty stressful environment. It's surrounded by electronics. So there's that constant buzzing of the electronic sound. So I'm just maybe hoping to replace that with something maybe a little bit more soothing and therapeutic. Have you ever heard of this before? No, this is my first time being exposed to any type of gongs before. All right. So what are your thoughts? Are you excited just to see what it's going to be like or have any expectations? I don't have any expectations, but I am really excited. <laughs> In terms of relaxation, I'd probably say I'm about a five. I'm, I'm excited to get on with my day, but I'm also still trying to decompress from work. So I'm kind of right in the middle. Overall well-being, well, I'll put it at a six. And so I'm going to give you my standard introduction, okay. which is a little, it is what it is. Um, so these gongs here are all planetary gongs. Um, and they are tuned to the orbit of the planet, except for the moon gong, which is tuned to the interval of a, of a full moon to full moon um, interval or a uh, new moon to new moon interval. And that's called a sonotic moon. So this is the, the sound of the sonotic moon. And so this gong is Pluto, um, and the or and so it's tuned to an octave of the orbit of Pluto, and this is Mercury that's tuned to an octave of the orbit of the planet Mercury. So this gong, um, the frequency is similar to the frequency of brain fat, and this gong, the frequency is um, related to the adrenal glands. 
This gong helps us with transformation. It helps us with looking inside of ourselves, sometimes seeing things about ourselves that we don't like and coming to peace with them or actually loving them and seeing the gifts that they've given us. Um, Mercury um, helps us to come back from exhaustion. So metaphorically, Mercury is closest to the sun. And strangely enough, it makes this, the sound for the adrenal glands. And so this gong helps us to come back from exhaustion. It helps us to speak our truth from our heart instead of from our will. So instead of trying to force our perspective upon people, it helps us to share our truth so that people can hear us better without us forcing our beliefs on them. And so this is Mercury. And this is Pluto. Um, this is a, um, so this one's Saturn, and Saturn um, is the planet of, uh, th that helps us to have the self-discipline to reach our nearly impossible goals, and it helps us to overcome frustration. So this is Saturn. Beneath Saturn is Neptune, and Neptune I call the vacation gong. Neptune helps us to write poetry. Neptune helps us to have vivid, um, a more vivid imagination, to have visions and dreams, and to come up with creative solutions for life's many challenges. This is a 34 inch symphonic gong that I call the Midnight Spaceship. This gong is tuned for the heart. It helps to clear the heart chakra um, so that people can be more forgiving of themselves and for others. Um, I relate it to uh, the Blessed Virgin. And so this gong really helps to empower people and um, let them feel the, the blessings that come with that. So this is, this is the Midnight Spaceship. This gong is Gaia, named after the Earth Goddess. Um, Gaia helps us with traveling through time, unwinding karma. Um, I use this gong in a special session um, with the goddess Kali um, for really clearing people. Um, we won't be doing that today because we don't want to overwhelm your microphones, but this gong is um, really massages us down inside of our tissue and um, so this is Gaia. This is an earth sound creation gong. The Peisty Gong Company made a series of gongs um, in the 80s and late 70s, I think. Um, but these gongs were made to be therapeutic, used by massage therapists and sound therapists in Europe. And they were picked up primarily in the United States by jazz musicians um, and um, in some symphony situations. So this gong was designed to support the health of the bones, teeth, ligaments, and tendons. Let's see. 
So some other sound creation gongs that we have are over here. So this is a sun sound creation gong that was designed to support the alignment of the spine and the health of the heart. And this is a water gong that was designed to support the health of the pituitary gland and it's used for clearing the meridians in the body. And this gong is Bell Symphonia. Um, and Bell Symphonia um, is metaphorically for um, helping us find the blessings in life's challenges. And these two gongs, the Sun and Bell Symphonia, um, help us to have lucid dreams. And then if I come over here, this gong is Aslan. Um, it was custom made for sacred wave gong immersions by Ryan Shelledy. And this gong helps people to relax and find peace. It is um, fire chakra and earth chakra related. And so this is Aslan. And this last gong is the Golden Buddha. The Golden Buddha came from a Buddhist temple in Moab, Utah. And um, I'm grateful to have this gong. So this gong helps us to get into the timeless now. And so this is the Golden Buddha. So you're all invited to put your masks on and to relax. The gongs are going to sing for you for a full hour. And then at the end of the hour, there'll be a period of silence. And then my voice will gently invite you back to the room and uh, there'll be some chocolate. The gongs are going to sing now and then there'll be a silence and there'll be chocolate. I'll see you on the other side.
as it becomes available, you are invited to wiggle your fingers and your toes to very gently begin to rotate your wrists and your ankles, continuing to deepen your breath. You are invited to bring back with you any messages, any healing, and any empowerments that you may have received. And you are invited to leave behind everything that no longer serves you. You do not need to know what it is. Simply exhale and let go. If it's available to you, you can gently turn your head from side to side, noticing how it feels, not trying to adjust your spine, simply noticing how it feels to turn your head. If you're lying on your back, you can bring your knee, you can bend your knees, bring your feet up to your glutes, if you'd like, slowly. Take an inhale, gently exhale your knees away from the front window for a gentle hip stretch. Take an inhale and exhale. <sighs> inhale your knees back to center and then gently exhale in the opposite direction. Being kind to your body, even if you feel like you've been awake, you've been sleeping. Inhale your knees back to center. And if it feels good for you, you may bring your knees up towards your chest, grab hold of the backs of your thighs or the fronts of your shins and rock up and down on your spine, just to open your spine up a little bit, but only do this if it feels good. And when you've had enough, place your feet back down on the mat. Remove your eye covering and gently open your eyes. Welcome back to the here and now. July 11th, 2019. When you're ready, make your way to seated in whatever way is best for you. And there will be chocolate. The purple chocolates are dark chocolate with almonds and the red chocolates are dark chocolate. The tray is large for a reason. You're welcome to more than one. You are welcome. Thank you. You are welcome. Thanks. You're welcome. Oh. How are you feeling? Um, 20 some pounds for one like that. That one's around 80 something. The Golden Buddha weighs, uh, I think, 45 or 50 pounds. And Aslan weighs only um, 40 pounds. It's, it's thinner. So when you came by us, were you just like standing down here? Were you over? I way? waved the gong over you. I walked around the room with the gongs. You were about, I think, a five before we started. How? What's your relaxation level now? Right now, I swear to God, I'm like at a 10. When it was happening, it was almost like I was in a dreamlike state. Like I didn't feel like I was in this room with you people and these gongs. I felt like I was like almost on a different plane. I've never experienced anything like that before in my life. And how do you feel? D different. I don't know how else to describe it other than different. I, I feel like... I don't even know how to describe it. Maybe like I'm more one with the environment or one with, I don't know. I'm not sure how to put this into words. Would you come back again? Or did you feel, did any certain thoughts or anything come up? He said, sometimes things come up. Sometimes your mind just goes blank. Sometimes you might think of things. I just felt like I was in a different space. Like I wasn't, 
I was totally present, but like I wasn't in my body almost like an out of body experience. Okay. Uh, when you said um, your relaxation levels at that time? Yes. Overall wellness, I feel like so much more secure. I would probably put that at about an eight or a nine. Mm -hmm. 